Hey Vinyl Community, Jeff here again. We got two new albums that came in recently that I wanted to share with you. One is a drastic price drop on Amazon, which I love pouncing on those. And one is a pre-order a pre that I thought would take longer to get here for an album that I've been waiting for forever on vinyl. Had it on CD for a long time. How long does that been? More than 10 years. Uh, but anyway, so let's look at this. So this first one is an Amazon price drop. Again, so here's the story behind this. This band dropped a new video recently that I just fell in love with. I thought the video was cool. I thought the band sounded cool. And at some point, I went on Amazon and put their album in my wish list. And then the other day, the price dropped to like $12. And I'm like, you can't turn... And it said... It was advertised as like new, you know, it was, it, it made it sound like it was opened or might have been a ding or something. One of those things where it wasn't a problem with the disc, it was a problem with the cover or something. Anyway, I got it. It was still in the shrink wrap. The shrink wrap had a little tear. There was no bends or dings. I don't know why it dropped to $12, but I got the new Horizon album, um, Gate of the Guys. Now, here's the thing I was leading up to. When I saw that video drop a couple months ago, I went to Amazon and plopped their album in my wish list. I didn't pay attention, didn't know much about the band. This is their 2022 album. The 2024 album is the one I saw the video for. It must not have been listed on Amazon at the time. It is now. Um, it's not that cheap, so I have it in my wish list now. But what I ended up doing was getting this album, which is their first album. They're a Swedish band. Uh, Eric Gromwell was one of, is the founder. One of, he's a singer, and you may know Eric because he was on the most recent Skid Row. The gang's all here. He's a singer for Skid Row, or at least he was up until this year. It says he was a singer from 2022 to 2024, so he must not be in Skid Row anymore. But if the gang's all here appeals to you, this is a mm, power metal, you know, 80s metal sounding. Swedish band that he has done and so you may be into this too. I liked his voice on Skid Row. I thought you know, and so I, I I already liked the stuff I heard from them. So I grabbed this. Let me see. This is a gold vinyl But yeah, so if you're into that it is a let me see. It's a gatefold It's a single album, but there you go Anyway What is this? Um Frontier Records, Frontier's Records. So they're not, they don't tend to be cheap, but you know, sometimes you can get them for cheap. Anyway, check them out. If you're into, you want to check out a new band, if you want to check out what Eric has done, other than, you know, this came out in 2022. So this would have been right before the Skid Row album, but was recorded probably around the same time. Um, and so, yeah, I'm now looking forward to getting their second album, but there you go. I love it when bands like that fall down in prices on Amazon so and like I said you can still get there the other one is one from Neil Morse his one album this is what his wow I am should be up on this this is like a second or third early solo album by Neil Morse um, I I need to go back and compare it because the Neil Morse that I got when I got this one album I got the deluxe double disc set and it had like another whole six songs and, and then I remember the whole story. There was something about, there were song. it's kind of a story concept album, but some of the songs were taken off. It wasn't made into a, con I, there's something about it. I remember going back, if I recall that this being the album, I should have really stopped and looked at it, is the songs that were the bonus tracks fit into the story. And I think at some point I went back and reorganized my online MP3 version that I listened to, you know, my computer to fit the storyline that it was originally intended. I put the songs in the proper order. So anyway, this, and of course, so that means it's a double disc set with a lot of music. This is just a double record set. And so five or six of those songs are gone. My question was, when I look at this, it looks very similar to what I have on my computer with some changes. But so my question was, is this vinyl release, this double vinyl release, is it match the original single disc version of one or did it actually pull in some of the songs that were on the bonus disc? I, I haven't looked that far into it. Would have been great if they could have went ahead and just do a third album in there and given us all the songs. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, you know, just great to have it. Some of the early stuff he did is would take 
double discs because you know they were very long prog type project projects so i'm happy to have this in any format it is a gatefold back in the day it would have mainly just been randy and mike portnoy and neil they did pretty much everything back in the early days before they actually put together the neil morse band where they've got full members and doing other things like i said it's a double record set the one thing about this album i mean there's there's no inner sleeve or anything that has any pictures because it's all in the gatefold um it does seem like a, it, this kind of there's no catalog number it's on radiant records um a lot of his records come out of radiant but they're also cross listed as uh inside out music they tend to be sometimes metal blade is involved where they get distribution and stuff but this album is is kind of plain jane it just says radiant records it has no catalog number it has no barcode no isbn number or anything like that it almost feels like it's just kind of bare bones just put out there which i don't mind i mean the music i'm sure is still great it's just is it, it almost it almost feels like it was just it's self-released Radiant Records, self-released, but not even a catalog number, which made it tough when I was putting this on Discogs. I'm like, I don't even have a catalog number, no barcode. Um, but yeah, just to have it in general is great. There are a couple of the early days that, you know, um, they did do testimony, but they need to do testimony too. There's a couple more in those early days that I'd love to see, you know, the early Neil Morse days that I'd like to see on vinyl. And here's one of them. Now, one thing different about it too, um, most of, most of, not all, most of my Neil Morse vinyl releases are signed. Normally, he would have the first hundred orders are signed. And I was always there on day one trying to place the order. Only a couple did I miss out on. So most of my stuff is signed. In this case, they took a different approach and the signed copies were were a couple dollars more, wasn't exuberant, but I thought, uh, you know, I, I don't, I have so many of his autographs, I didn't have to have it, I'm not going to pay more for it, so I didn't do it, um, so this one's not signed, uh, and it wasn't that I didn't order it on the day of, because I did order it on the day of, I ordered it the morning of, within a few minutes, I think, of them going on sale, um, but again, I wasn't, not a big deal, not a big deal, but I didn't do the extra for that, so great stuff, uh, it's a great album, great, great album, love this album, and glad to have it on vinyl and like i said i have the deluxe edition so there's extra songs on that for the cd that's it for that though great stuff if you're no more jump on it uh being it self-released i'm not sure how many would have would have pressed with that anyway that's it for this one thanks a lot for watching rock on and rock hard